premiere of Golson right here. And we're with Sally, and you're going to tell us what the special of the day is today. So today we have ribeye steaks, ribeye steak sandwiches, marinated chicken, pork chops, mac and cheese, and green beans. And what's your favorite? Uh, Rufus Burger. Yeah, I usually go for a cheeseburger. Uh, what's yes. special about the Rufus Burger? It's just bigger, and I don't know, I like our burgers. They're more... Best they burger taste, in yeah. Yeah. Best they burger taste really good. County. That's saying something. Yeah. Right, There's well, competition. Well, you know. what's McCauley uh, Johnson up in South City agree with you? No. no, they wouldn't agree with me. <laughs> it's okay. It's, 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 it's town pride. All right. Um, Do so, y'all need a few minutes to check out our Do you menu? know what you want to order? Or? Well, I know what I'm getting now that I know the Rufus burger is bigger. Yes, two patties instead of one on a four and a half inch filling. And it comes with cheese. If you don't want cheese on it, just let me know. And then you tell me whatever you want on it. I, I want a Rufus burger. A Rufus I want a bacon burger. Rufus burger. Oh, we can't have bacon burger. I want chili, slaw, mustard. Like, are we supposed to Ketchup. order different things, or we just we're just no, going here? You gotta get the roof. I want cheese on it as well. Oh, right. okay. Chili, slaw, mustard. Yep. And, and, and uh, onion rings. Onion rings. I too would like onion rings, right. and my goal to be more Eric-like. <laughs> right. And what all on your roof's burger besides bacon, honey? Just everything that goes on there. Mustard, slaw, chili, and onion. All right with you? Groovy. Get a Rufus burger. Uh, I, I will get a Rufus burger. I just, just stunned someone call me Hunt. Uh, you should be. I, I should be because I'm a darn Yankee. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I will go for Rufus burger. Rufus burger? Uh, cheeseburger with everything on it. I do not want the bacon. That's kind of excessive. No so much for salt, chili, and onion only? Yes. Now, did you want two Rufus burgers? Because people were picking on him because over in Allen and Son, he had two grilled cheese, not just one, but two. I, I was on the phone with him the other day. He ordered a biscuit, and he said double bacon and extra mayo. I said, there's no way you actually ordered that. Yes, I did. It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. It's a bacon no and egg. Is it, two roots, no one? Oh. Nope. Oh, it sounds like a no, challenge. It sounds like a challenge. I'm not doing it today, but I'll come I back. I mostly have I'll every single back. time I pick it up. There are a few people that will eat it all, but mostly it's... The last bit of it, last 40 bites are usually not I've, eaten. Mm -hmm. I've, I've won a few eating contests before. Yeah. I had to come back. Yeah, I had to come back just because you said that. If you finish this, well, are we getting a double Rufus burger? No, I'm not, oh, no, I'm I'm, say, I that, thought the Rufus, free piece of pie. I thought yeah, the Rufus like burger was by its nature a double. Yes, it is, but I mean like double, like two. No, I don't want to play. No, 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 well, it's good to know you have limits. All right, uh, yes, you got my Rufus burger. I will take fries, and uh, you want to want anything else besides that? No, that's the that's no. way. Uh, would you recommend anything else, please? No, I think this is a full meal. All right, it's a full meal. We have your questions written out. We have an agenda. Gail said we have to have Thank you, Sally. Have you ever heard Greg's Gail impression? No, I haven't. <laughs> if Gail ever joined us, she's going to get real Gail, Gail worked for Tim yeah, for several years. Eric, ago. shut up! <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty At the first is, is this yours? Is this no, your this is mine. That's oh, yours. Sure. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, so there, there are Tim's questions right, right. there. Feel, feel like free that. to ad lib or go off of it, but I know the man, and he, these are the questions he's going to appreciate. What do you mean, how do you say it? Rufus do, burger. Well, that's not that's not his questions. Oh, that's not his questions. No, how do you say the restaurant? Because it's Rufus, but the Rufus's. Yeah, see, that's right. Rufus's. Is it, yeah. You said Rufus's. You how do you spell it? Is it Rufus apostrophe? I think, I think it's Rufus apostrophe. So right. why would, So, but everyone says Rufus is apostrophe. Right. Right. So it wouldn't be but, but, the but, extra. But, but I'm telling you. Are you it, complaining about the syntax uh, of the people of Goldstone? Yeah. No, I'm saying that. You want to speak if like a native. Everyone says Rufus's. Well, they do say Rufus's. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to blow your mind. <laughs> That's not, those weren't for Tim. Oh, that was, oh Tim. here's the Tim question. The Tim I'm sorry. Questions. I don't mean to call it. He wasn't prepared. Two pages worth of agenda. No, 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 no. That's three agendas. Oh, that's in case he loses two on the way. Yeah. All right. For folks that don't know, this is Tim Knup, former mayor of Goldston. I understand the town's really gone downhill since you left. <laughs> is that no, true? I did, no, not write that. I did not write that. There is no truth to that. All right. Jonathan's doing a very good job, apparently. Yeah, he is. He's um, doing a very good job. He did very Probably. well. He did very well at the uh, Chatham County Commerce 
Chamber of Commerce briefing. Yeah. Uh, a joke a second. That was good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Now, who'd you get these questions from? I know I know what he wants. Oh, he's, you know that. Oh, he's prepared. We're feeding him questions. He's, he's right. prepared. Mr. Tim Knuck, how long were you mayor? That's a good question. That is. Yeah, and I actually know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. 23 All years. All right. Why did you decide to run for mayor? Oh, wow. I was on the town board, uh, went in uh, first time 1993 or 4, and um, actually my father-in-law was the mayor, and uh, he he was the mayor for uh, 26 years. Wow. And when he retired, I was on the board, and I said, hmm, maybe I should go ahead and step up. Because he, he didn't tell you to? He didn't tell oh, you no. you were going to be mayor? No, he didn't tell me I was going to be mayor. Did you get like a scepter? Did he pass along yeah, a scepter right. with a little... Yeah, I still have that. With that. No, no, there was nothing. Um, so, anyhow. So I took over. Actually, let me see. I'm having to go back quite a number of years. Mr. Ronnie Gaines did run. He, he was the mayor two years after he had... I was still on the board, and then I took over after that. And your wife was okay with you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> she was ready for me to retire. <laughs> oh, was for 23 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you driving her crazy now that you've retired? No. No? No. no. He's semi. He's still doing real I'm estate. still doing real estate. He's still, yeah, he's, you've been in the real estate. Still Realty World Rock. Carolina Properties. Oh, yeah. I've heard that name before. Realty World Carolina Properties. He couldn't say it earlier today. He couldn't. I know. I had Did to, he struggle with it? Yes. Yes. I, 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 it's, it's, it's I don't feel too bad. He had trouble saying Jim Trill, too. So it's okay. <laughs> hey, it was, it's, it's a, a slight case of dyslexia. Yeah. Uh, Gene's been around a while. Mm -hmm. I have, not as long as you guys Never. have, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we started at the same. Remember, yeah, we were at right. the same time. Big, Tim was in advertising, and he, oh, did, right. he used to that's do our ads for us all the time. Right. And he said, "We need to secure the back page of this guy." So that's and what that's we had. Right. And actually, and because you secured Tim. the back page and then went to color, we were able to get color, and Whoa. we increased our circulation by a thousand because people wanted to see pictures, pictures of, their of their children kids. in sports. In sports. So good. yeah, I want to thank you guys for that. Mm -hmm. well, we're um, glad we could do it. So are you a Yankee, or you grew up here? No, no, no. I, um, <laughs> I, I was. Uh, I'm homegrown. Okay. Oh, right. Next question here is now, how did you meet your wife? Oh wow, that's, that's a good not, question. Not <clears throat> yeah, he's, that, he's admirable. That's a good question. That's so, a good, good question. My wife's brother, Gene Harris, who has passed now. He mm -hmm. used to be a magistrate. Oh great yeah, guy. great guy. Mm -hmm. Super, super great guy. We were best friends in high school, and so uh, Camille, my wife. Gene's sister was six years younger. So it was all frowned upon in high school when I was a senior and she was in the sixth grade. We were yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's okay, Elvis. <laughs> Not that bad. No. I just knew her as the little kid. Right. And uh, Is there any, any truth to the legend that you uh, stole her from Ricky's gun? <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Ricky Spoon, oh my gosh. No. That, would be, this, that was yeah. not a question. He's a Bennett yeah. boy. Here's a Bennett boy. Yeah, right? yeah. Ricky always loved my wife, yes. but uh, she yeah. chose me. Yes, you did. Um, <laughs> did you have to arm wrestle for her or what, a dance off? we yeah. got to have Ricky at one of these lunches. No, 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 no. So when, uh, yeah, so anyhow, I went away, came back, and Camille had grown up, and actually she was at Sand Hills. And the way we met was uh, I, I got stood up on a date, and I had gone down to Sand Hills. Oh, wow. And the girl stood me up, and I said, well, I'm not going to waste the night. So uh -huh. I went to a local establishment, uh -huh. and Camille was there. And oh, I wow. said, Dad, go on, that looks like Jean Harris, his little <laughs> sister. And we started dating. And that was 39, well, we've been married 39 years. So it was about 41 years ago. Wow. So you dated her for a couple, couple of years, years before you asked her? That's right. And did you ask her right here at Mufasis? No, I did not. Did I you ask Jean me. permission? I did. And Jean okay. did, didn't give it. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. No. And he was, he, in the beginning, he was not happy with the arrangement. Oh, was he yeah. looking to hook her up with Ricky Spoon? <laughs> <laughs> Jean, Jean not happy with it would be a little intimidating. It was a little intimidating. Right. Yeah, we were not a small person. He said, yeah. But uh, his, his, her dad did give me permission, so that was enough. But Gene and I were still best friends <clears throat> forever. My, my first eviction 
was with Gene <laughs> as magistrate. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know how this is going to go, whatever, because it was my first one. You don't know the process. And in North Carolina... Were you being evicted or are you evicted? No, somewhere? in North Carolina, you're you're not an attorney, but as a property manager, you're you allowed can. to represent... Well, I know uh, how it went with Gene. Yeah. He, did you pay your rent? No. Okay, you got to go. Bam! Yeah. Get out. <laughs> That's, That's what he did. He, did, he said, yeah. bam, get out. Yeah. yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gene understood how it worked. Yeah, he did. Yep. Or right. should work. Question number two. What can you tell us about Goldstone? Man, I can tell you anything and everything you want to know. Pretty he, much. Knows, he knows the history. He incorporated, he incorporated in 1907. Obviously, been around quite a bit longer than that. I think our oldest structure still standing is around 1882. Uh, we do still have several large wooden structures. Um, it's a Circle City. If you've never heard of the Circle City, it is, it is a perfect circle. It's one mile or a half a mile from the center to the outside. From each side, and my, I was told that circle cities were created when they didn't really <laughs> know what how to make the boundaries. So uh-huh. they said, "Well, why don't we just make it a circle?" That's well, that's an interesting segue. We might not be a circle city here pretty soon, huh? Well, you know, actually, we're no longer because we uh, have annex yeah, outside right, annex. now. So we have several annexations that's taken place. So. Well, let's let's t- let's touch on that because Mark Stinson seems to be concerned about, and there's, there seems to be a whole bunch of folks concerned about annexations, in particular having to do with the rock quarry. So, right. can, are you able to talk about that, or? Well, I mean, certainly. I mean, I'm no longer in government, and I can say, you know, whatever. I mean, I. Could them too. I, I'm not a, a really a. Uh, I'm not for the rock quarry. I, I don't think we need to annex it personally. Now I can't speak for the current town board, mayor, or, or you know any of them. But I think that um, I just don't see. The Would overall. it be a huge source of revenue for the town? You know, uh, I haven't heard what the revenue would be. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't think it's huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not, you know, from what I understand uh, about the whole thing, the, the folks in the Antioch area that, you know, it surrounds, or, uh, they're certainly not happy for it, you know. I, I sold some property in southern Alamance when they were putting in the rock quarry, and yeah. uh, uh, it did affect some values of the people that were close by, but I remember yeah. when you and I were first in real estate, they were putting in the the 3M between yes, Hesper and Sanford yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, it's it's not going to last there forever. And the guy's like, it's yeah. a 150 year supply. For that like, one. Yeah, yeah, 150. He's like, it's going to be here when you're long gone. <laughs> now, the current, you know, the rock quarry that we already have, that mm-hmm. we've had for 10 plus years, you know, that's outside of the city limits also. And at the time it was put in, there was no jurisdiction for the town. Right, and, and, and back then, Chatham County Planning uh, Board allow, or Chatham County allowed that kind of stuff, and they they did they, they shut they it did. down. Now that everything's zoned differently, then mm-hmm. yeah, that that's uh, we need them. I mean, with all the growth and development we have, we do need them. But I'm a I'm a nimby when it comes to <laughs> quarries. I don't I, I don't want broken windshields. Well, I don't want the traffic. Yeah. I don't want the yeah, and the yeah. dust and everything else and yep. the trucks running well, with all that stuff well, and chip windows. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, the way those modern trucks come from 3M right through downtown Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm kind of to the right of about 99 percent of the people in the world, but I sit in downtown Pittsburgh, and I think we're fine. Do you need something else? Oh, okay. How's your iced tea going? We're good. We're good. Thank you. But 3M and modern are just rude. Really? I mean, yeah, I mean, look at how well the trucks come in through. Fact. They come right through town. Well, those aren't all three of trucks, though. No, it, I don't know who owns the trucking company that moves their stuff, but whoever that is, comes through town going way too fast, and then for no reasons hitting their Jake brakes, going right, right down in front of yeah. Horton Middle right. School and the right. restaurants down there, just I rude. The oh wow! Look at this fast, fast, fast. This is a bacon ruthless burger. Yes, sir. Is there anything else I can get for y'all? Any ranch? Ketchup, mustard, grain, mayonnaise. Yeah, this ketchup here. Ketchup, ketchup there. there. You mustard, need mustard, 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 mayo. Yep. Do you need any ranch? Good. All right. I'll be right back. And some cutlery for me, please. They do. They do. Oh, they do vintage okay. ketchup here. That's from when they first opened. Okay. 
Okay, dude. All right, yeah. I, got a, I got a question. We usually don't have people watch what we're eating. But no, no, we got to finish it. We got to finish it. We got a guest, yeah. Oh, y'all can eat. Please. No, we, they just don't want to see us no, chew no, live no, on no, cameras. No, oh, it's too much. But you know what? We chew from his mouth open. I know. Plus, he had double cheese, uh, <laughs> grilled cheeses all the time. We're going to do this. We're going to. He might have to go. He may, but you know what? We, we're rolling on this conversation, so I'm just going to concentrate on um, Tim here. How is this aired on your podcast? Or? It goes out on YouTube, and then I write a, a quick little story about it. Oh, okay. uh, and actually, the last two times we've done this, or three times, uh, the story has trended on the Chatham Journal website. And also, come on in, Sal. Thank you. Uh, it's also been a top nine story every month. We get about 30... I was telling Eric earlier, we used to get about 30,000 visits a month. We're now ranging between 30 and 50,000. We have to upgrade our package. So that's where it goes. So I do I do a story after the, the video comes out. I just posted the one on, uh, we went over to Allen and Sons. Yeah. Drilled the heck out of Ethan Stubbs about his wedding plans. Yeah. Also oh. ran into Shannon Plummer and oh, yeah. who was the young lady that the uh, real estate? Shannon Stubbs, not Plummer. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Lauren. Yeah. They, What's Lauren's last name? Stubbs. Rhodes or Fox? Yeah, Rhodes. Yeah, one Rhodes. of the two. Rhodes. Yeah, on faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, Ray Barbecue. Love, mm -hmm. love, love, love. Oh yeah, yeah. And, always. Yeah. And he was telling us about how he started out in the in the uh, you know his mom and dad had him sitting on uh, standing on top of a soda case to be able to serve up drinks. Wow. And then Eric brings up the unfortunate situation of a former student of his getting stepping into a, a was it a, a bucket bat? of hot oil. So. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. They call him Yeah, you should avoid that. He didn't see, yeah, at all. Yeah, pretty much. 